Hello, everybody. Let me do that. There we go. Let's get in frame. Are you excited for Myth Monday? I am. I'm very, very excited. Um, today we're talking about one of my favorite things you have heard me say. I'm very shiny today. Sorry, guys. But you have heard me say over and over and over again, exfoliate, exfoliate, exfoliate. <clears throat> so, this week we're going to explore all things exfoliation together, starting with um, a skincare myth that we do on Mondays, and so our skincare myth is going to be around exfoliation today. So, exciting stuff. Exfoliation is an is essential part of our skincare routine, and so I want us to be knowledgeable on why we should exfoliate, how often we should exfoliate and the different types of exfoliators that we can use when we exfoliate and what, which ones should go with which skin types, etc. So today we are going to look at one of the biggest skincare myths out there around exfoliation and that is I should exfoliate daily and that is false. But before we jump into why this is a false um, or at least for most people, a false myth, let's discuss why we should even exfoliate in the first place. So for people who are prone to blemishes, clogged pores, and acne, it helps us clear out our pores. It gets down in there deep and gets all that gunk out. Then for those of us who are trying to reduce those visible signs of aging, exfoliation helps to trick our skin into thinking it's younger by sloughing off those um, dead skin cells which accentuate wrinkles and accentuate fine lines and brings out our younger, healthier looking skin to the surface. And then for all skin types, the exfoliation gives our face an instant glow by clearing away those dead skin cells that cause the, cause the dullness and by allowing other products that we put onto our face to penetrate more effectively because they're not trying to have to get through that layer of dead skin cells, okay? So, <clears throat> now that we know why we should be exfoliating, let's discuss how often we should be exfoliating. Daily exfoliation can be pretty harmful to our skin. You have to have really healthy skin to be able to do daily exfoliation. Some people do, most of us do not. So the reason why it's harmful is because exfoliating daily can strip the skin of its natural oils, which can cause breakouts. Okay, so you think you're doing something to, actually, to help prevent breakouts, but what it's really doing is it is stripping the, your skin of the oil that it needs in order to stay healthy and uh, naturally uh, keep you from breaking out. If you do over exfoliate, it can cause more damage by causing more breakouts um, because you need that oil. It makes your skin drier. It actually makes your skin drier, which perpetuates this cycle of dry dead skin, which clogs pores, which, you know, causes the acne, etc. Um, and if that isn't enough, it can also cause irritation because you are removing the top layer of skin before it has a chance to regrow, to heal itself. Um, so it's like if you had a you don't have scabs on your face, but it's like if you had a scab and you keep, you think you're trying to clean it, but you're cleaning it with something that's grainy and harsh. And so it's trying to heal itself and you think, oh, I've got something and you go to scrub it off. And so you're not letting your, your skin heal. So, um, over time, daily exfoliation can actually thin the skin. So not only are you not giving it time to heal, but it can thin the skin which causes it to wrinkle easier. So if one of your main reasons that you wanna exfoliate is you wanna diminish the signs of aging, slow your roll when you're exfoliating, calm down, 
um, because otherwise you're going to thin out your skin and cause it to look even more wrinkly. So it, again, like with the acne, it's actually doing the opposite of what you want. Our skin is a smart organ, people. It knows what it needs and it tries to give it to itself and it's outside, generally outside influencers that hurt it, like weather or other environmental factors and pollution or things we put on our face, okay? So it will shed this dead skin cells itself if it's exacerbated by some of those um, environmental or weather related things that we talked about, sometimes it needs our help. Um, but if we were living in a perfect world, it would do what it needs to do by itself. If we exfoliate too often, it can actually slow down that cell turnover. So, how often should you exfoliate? No more than two to three times a week um, for most people with normal to combination skin. However, if you have sensitive skin, do it once a week, okay? Because sensitive skin has already got enough going on that it doesn't need added irritation. It's already trying to build back up that barrier without something there trying to take it back out every two to three days or two or three times a week, okay? So that's it, mark your calendar. Um, some people I try to tell them to do it Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or if they don't wanna do it two, three times a week, they can do it on Tuesdays and Thursdays, or you know, you can figure it out. Figure out what works best for your schedule, but if you are doing it once a week, maybe it's, you know, um, it's a part of your your self care Sunday. You do a, you do a scrub or some sort of exfoliator. We'll talk about the different times types because they're not all scrubs um, later in the week. So that is our myth busted today. This week um, we'll be talking even more in detail all about exfoliants and exfoliating our skin. I'm actually going to be traveling quite a bit for my uh, my job A this week, so we're going to kind of move around the schedule a little bit. So typically on Mondays, I do skincare Myth Monday. Tuesdays, it's some sort of skincare tip about what we're talking about during the week. Wednesdays is typically our vocab lesson day, and Thursdays is our deep dive day. I'm traveling on Thursday and Friday of this um, week, so... Tomorrow, I will share both tips and the vocab lesson. And then on Wednesday night, I will be doing our deep dive into where we'll talk about different types of exfoliants, and I'll discuss our products that use those different types of exfoliants. So, not Thursday. I will see you again live here on Wednesday night, same time, 7.30, but tomorrow I will be dropping a tip and a vocab lesson. So I'm excited to share this with you. Exfoliation is so important, so key, and one of my most beneficial things that I personally do in my regimen, I don't leave it out. It is that important, okay? Even for me with my sensitive skin, it is that important. All right, you guys, have a wonderful night. Have a wonderful rest of your week, and I will see you Wednesday night. Bye.